is very good morning students see mathematics it is a study of numbers shapes size and etc we already learned we know very well about this isn't it so we are if previous classes we already learned about different kind of numbers right but in this class you have to learn some particular shapes and their size in previous classes you learned already the shapes of certain figure like square rectangle circle triangle and it's on sizes it's on sizes means it's area perimeter like that okay but in this class we are going to learn this uh, one more thing is the square rectangle uh, similarly circle these are two dimensional figure these are two dimensional figure but in this case in this class we are going to learn about some three dimensional figure we are using a pen we are using pencil we are using rubber we are using our notebook these are the examples for three dimensional figure okay clear so three dimensional figure means it has three dimensions one is length another one is breadth another one is height so this is the example for three dimensional figure right ah okay now see did you see the shape of the match box what what is the what is the shape match box it has six faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 faces each six faces is in the shape of which is shape this is here yes, one face okay this shape is what kind of shape name the shape yes rectangle very good it is a shape of a rectangle clear up appo rectangle this is also a 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 rectangle so how many rectangles are there six rectangles are there so this solid so name of this solid is called a cuboid cuboid okay so today we are going to learn about cuboid what is the meaning of cuboid sir it is a solid okay moreover it is a solid moreover it is a three dimensional figure okay that is length breadth height clear so each faces are in rectangle so therefore it is a cuboid clear now if by using a color paper we are going to cover the surface of this cuboid so here one question is arisen what is the question sir how much color paper we require to cover this surface of this cuboid that we, we we have we need a measurement that measurement is called surface surface area of a cuboid surface area of a cuboid sir how we can calculate the surface area of a cuboid sir we have any formula or we have any idea to calculate the surface area of a cuboid yes of course we have a idea sir so what is the idea in order to find the surface area of a cuboid we just find we from pr previous classes we learned we know very well what is the area of a rectangle what is the area of a rectangle length into breadth okay so this is a rectangle length into breadth this is also a rectangle length into breadth this is also a rectangle length into breadth this is also a rectangle length into breadth so how many rectangles are there six rectangles are there so to find the total surface area of a cuboid that is our question okay in order to find the total surface area of a cuboid we just add the area of this rectangle plus 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 this rectangle clear apa surface area or 
total surface area of a cuboid equal to area of rectangle 1 okay plus area of rectangle 2 plus area of rectangle 3 plus uh, area of rectangle 4 plus area of rectangle 5 plus area of rectangle 6 right uh, so what here what happened we don't know the area of a rectangle but we know the area of the rectangle what is the area of the rectangle l into b right or wrong Apo, l into b is the area of the first rectangle which one is the first rectangle this is the first rectangle right uh? so area of the first rectangle yes tell me length into breadth Apo, l into b right uh? plus area of the second rectangle this is a second rectangle again length into breadth Apo, again l into b is it correct or wrong is it correct or wrong yes next area of this rectangle yes area of this rectangle length this is length no no this is a breadth into height Apo, b into h plus Alla, next next rectangle again this is a breadth this is a height so how we find the area b into h correct correct next area of the fifth rectangle area of the fifth rectangle this is breadth into height okay area of first rectangle so area of first rectangle okay area of second rectangle okay this rectangle okay this rectangle okay clear next this rectangle this rectangle what is it breadth into height breadth into height clear that is first rectangle this is second rectangle clear this is third rectangle fourth rectangle fifth rectangle sixth rectangle first rectangle is okay second rectangle is okay breadth into height breadth into height means this is breadth this is height so this is okay this is okay so remaining part is remaining part is which one remaining part is this is okay over okay this rectangle is over this is also over Next, which part? Which part? This part over, this part over. Okay. Similarly, this part over, this part over. So remaining? Yes. Length into length into height. Next, again. Length into height. Right up equal to yes equal to tell me l into b plus l into b total 2l into b correct plus next b into h plus b into h total 2b into h plus next l into h plus l into h 2 L into H. Very good. 2 L into H. Equal to next step 2, 2, 2, common. So we take outside. What happened? 2 of L B plus B H plus L H. This is the formula for finding what total surface area of what a cuboid right or wrong is it clear okay about activity through activity we can learn how we can form the total surface area of a cuboid we don't remember we don't by heart the total surface area of a cuboid equal to 2 into lb plus bh plus lh okay that is not a proper way 
we should understand sir how the formula is derived sir how the formula is get sir how the formula like this sir 2 into lb plus bh plus lh sir so you should understand why because mathematics is always easy to understand for understanding purpose we should do some activities so through activities we can learn easily okay so what is the area total surface area of a cuboid 2 into lb plus bh plus lh where 2 into l length into b breadth plus breadth into height plus l length into height clear okay okay do you remember once again tsa of a cuboid equal to 2 into lb plus bh plus lh clear clear you have any doubt no okay okay 